Brother, how's it going? Hey, Welcome thank, you. thank you. All right. So I know we spoke on the phone previously. Um, you said you were interested in the 16 uh, Cascada. Um, this one is the one that you saw online because I know you wanted the black exterior with the um, light interior. Now, um, this one here isn't just a regular black. This one's going to be your carbon black metallic. Uh, so that it's going to be a premier uh, color. Uh, what you're going to see, it kind of shines a little bit more in the light here. Um, now, have you shopped here again before? Are you familiar with how we do business? Uh, I know it went over a little bit on the phone. Yeah, not really. Let me reiterate. So here at Gun, we're one simple price store. Um, all of our prices are clearly posted. You're going to see um, the MSRP right up there. Right underneath it, it's going to be MSRP minus any discounts and um, rebates that everybody, every customer qualifies for. We put our best price up front. That way there's no haggle, no hassle. Um, you don't have to worry about me holding back or anything like that. Uh, here at Gun, we're salary-based salespeople, so I get paid by the number of cars I sell, not the price. Um, we even have it in writing, um, which of course is, you know, if you don't believe me, it's in writing, so you can always come uh, see it here. Um, it's going to show you, just like I said, all prices clearly posted, no haggling, no hassle, everyone gets the same fair deal. Uh, we're non-commissioned sales staff, so we're here to serve you. Uh, we, I know you are... Uh, we did talk a little bit about you trading in the BMW. We do that a little differently as well. We do a 10-day guarantee a bid to buy your vehicle. So we'll buy yours even if you don't buy one from us. Um, and you have 10 days to think about it. And on all vehicles, we have a 48-hour return policy. All right? So here, like back to the vehicle, we got the 16 Buick Cascada. It's, one of the, it's the newest uh, vehicle we have out from GM. Um, and look underneath the hood here. Huh? Hold on, I'm going to go over a few things. Just trying to get that away because we can't hear you. Sorry. So, uh, it's going to be your 1.6 liter four cylinder engine. Um, it's going to be a turbocharged with your six speed automatic transmission. Um, this one's going to have 200 horsepower, right about 206, 207 pounds of torque. Um, what that is, uh, your torque is what gets you up and going for you. Um, the uh, horsepower is what keeps you going, and you got the turbo just in case you need to, you know, get up a little faster. Exactly, get up and pass the wind. Um, the six-speed transmission is going to get you great uh, gas mileage. It's going to um, the first three years are going to be for to get up and go. The next three are going to be for uh, the better gas mileage. Like I said, everything in this vehicle is going to be built for a reason. Um, it's going to be uh, your Convenience, style, and safety are the main three reasons why we do something like that. Um, the six-speed uh, transmission is a sealed transmission, so you don't have to worry about uh, anything, any contaminants getting into it, having to flush it out, and stuff like that. Um, it's pretty much maintenance-free. Um, you're going to see uh, the same thing with the spark plugs. They'll be maintenance-free. Uh, the power steering, um, again, maintenance-free. You won't have to worry about changing too much. Now. The engine, pretty much the whole vehicle, bumper to bumper warranty is going to be a um, four year, 50,000 mile uh, bumper, limited bumper to bumper warranty, and it's going to come with a six year, 70,000 mile powertrain warranty. Um, the powertrain is also going to come with your roadside assistance and courtesy transportation, should something happen, uh, you are 24 7. Um, it's also going to come with a two year, 24,000 mile maintenance plan. Your, um, Maintenance plan is going to come with oil changes, tire rotation, and a multi-point vehicle inspection. Um, what's that? Up to two, three oil changes. So with that, um, it's going to basically pop up. I'm sure it says it on your BMW as well. Change oil soon. Once the oil light gets down to about 20%, that's when you call and you bring it in. Now, the nice part is they do the inspection, so the 27-point inspection, that way if they see anything else going on, they can let you know. Is it synthetic oil or what is it? It's a synthetic blend. Okay. Um, so it's not a full synthetic. The nice part about that is that if you wanted to use the full synthetic, GM will actually pay for um, the, what the uh, synthetic blend is, which is Dexos. And if you want to go to Mobile One, all you have to do is just cover the difference for those, it's pretty good. For those two businesses. But how about the, I know you were uh, talking about gas mileage. What's right. that in the city? So the on the city, you're going to get 20. On the highway, you're at 27. So it's actually pretty good for the, uh, for the turbo engine. Now, the nice part about this, um, 
also is that we do have, I know you did say you had your own financing that you were looking at through Randolph Brooks. Um, we do have Randolph Brooks here. We're one of three dealerships that uh, have them in-house, so you can do everything here. Uh, before we had them, I used them myself. You have to go over there, sit in front of the computer, talk to someone at the main screen, then come back here. You do everything in-house. Um, we do have extended warranties. Um, ju judging on you know the different uh, you know the different mileage and the different year you know, years that you're going to be driving it, so that way you can kind of they can, you know pinpoint it to uh, be better convenience to you. Okay. Um, and we'll talk about that here in a little bit when we get down into the finance area and stuff like that. You'll meet with uh, some one of the business managers back there. Now the vehicle itself, you're going to see your classic Buick. Uh, symbol up here with your uh, chrome accents. Um, this one does have a front and rear park assist. Um, of course you can't, when, as you're driving, you can't see the bumper up front so that way the, as when you, you know, get closer to something you don't accidentally bump it. Um, it also is going to come with this sensor up here which is going to be your forward collision alert. It's going to sense um, a vehicle at 10, 20, and 30 feet. You can change it uh, you know, just in case if you wanted to drive a little closer to the car or something like that, just kind of tailor it your way. Now, it'll sense a vehicle up ahead if, you know, if you do get, in, get into a, um, like say if you're looking away and you are getting a little close to a vehicle, it'll notify you. It can apply the brakes for you as well, um, which is one of the safety features, of course. Here you're going to see your LED uh, wraparound lights. There are your daytime running lights. You're going to have your eight high intensity discharge bulb here for your regular headlights. Now that's going to uh, project a brighter beam um, going out, so if it's a little foggy or something like that. Um, now with that, it, it's going to allow you to see a lot more and see things faster. It's cut the foot right? Yes, it's also going to have your fog lights underneath. This little light here in the middle, you'll see it's kind of off uh, to the right here. It's going to be off to the left there. That's what's called a cornering light. So as you take a turn, not only do you have what's called an articulating headlight here, which is when you turn, but if it goes uh, more, if you turn more, it's going to do this, the corner light's going to turn on, you have the reflective mirrors that'll show around the corner. So of course, built for safety, that way you see around the corner even quicker. Um, this vehicle, because it is on the showroom, we did tailor it to where it, uh, the blue steel paint and fabric protection is included in the price. Uh, what that is, it's going to be a five-year um, five year warranty that's going to cover the paint, interior and exterior of the vehicle. Exterior is going to cover not necessarily chips or scratches or dents, but it's going to cover more loss of gloss, um, more, uh, more so as stuff from nature. Um, you, a lot of times, like now, springtime, you'll see the uh, green pollen coming around. Mm -hmm. um, if that bakes into here, into uh, the paint, you'll of course get loss of gloss. So what we do is we'll repair it for you. Alright, it's a zero dollar deductible. You get it included into this price rate because this is a showroom vehicle. Um, not only that, but we also, you can also bundle it with a few things, such as, uh, you can see the windows are up. This is what I call the glass bowl here. Um, you can see straight through it. It's almost like the same thing as our um, showcase over there. We have what's uh, the window tint. Now we have two different options for you. There's ceramic and there is IR film. Ceramic is going to cover about 30% of the UV rays um, and IR film is going to cover about 70%. Now, the I, when I say 70% of the UV rays, it's meaning like if you had your arm up here on the window seal, it's not going to, you're not going to feel the sun as much. Um, it'll keep it a lot cooler inside. You also have the option for uh, what's called DigiShield. DigiShield is a great um, feature that we just added. Um, basically, what I call it is your door dings. If you open this door up here, you can see it opens up pretty wide. Pretty wide. So, with that, if there was a car parked here, you know, you have your wife um, sitting in the seat, she's not paying attention, swings the door open, it's going to, you know, of course, it'll hit something here. The DigiShield is a thin uh, coating of plastic over here that's going to cover it just in case something like that were to happen. Not only that, but we can put it inside the door handles, we can put it up front over here on the hood for rock chips. Uh, driving on 1604, I know that. 
Yeah, so I noticed that this query is on the front too, so that's access for the tow hooks? Or right. Uh, yes, it, it, it's got it on the uh, rear and the front, so that way you can hook it up either way. So what we're going to do, I'm going to hop in really quick. I'm going to show you uh, how easy it is to put the top down, um, and then we will go over a few things, such as the wind deflector and stuff like that. I'll have you sit in here in a second. Okay. So, if it wasn't dead, we would uh, put the top down. Um, it takes about 17 seconds to put down, I believe 19 seconds to put up. You can do it while you're driving um, somewhere into the, uh, you drive up to about 30 miles an hour putting it down. Okay. Um, if you'll see back here, this is going to be your actual um, glass, uh, so it's not like your plexiglass or anything like that. Um, you're going to see these two portholes, sorry, like I said, if the top was down, it'd be a little easier to show you, but you'll see these two holes here. They, on it, it says, do not cover. Those are going to be your pillars for your rollover. Okay. Um, now, it, you know, and that's just in case something were to happen, it's already there for you. You don't have to think about it. They'll shoot out, um, and that way the back seat passengers will be uh, safe as well. You already have the A pillar up here that's reinforced. Um, the wind deflector is going to fit right in here. With the wind, you, you have two different things. So with the wind deflector, you have your main one. So if you it was if it was just you and Coco, Coco sitting in the front seat, you driving, uh, you'll break this out. Easy fold. It's got these spring loaded that okay. just pop out. You drop it into the uh, little uh, holes right in there and put it there. Um, it's going to reduce a lot of the wind uh, coming back into the vehicle um, and, of course, a lot of noise as well. Um, with the, with the uh, windows up, it will also help uh, and the top down. So it's pretty much like you're almost enclosed, but it's a huge sunroof. Do you have to unlock anything? To... No. With the top, you don't have to unlock anything at all. Um, it's very, very simple. Now, if it was just if it was four people sitting in the vehicle, you still have a wind deflector for the rear passenger. Because they're going to get most of the, uh, the air. most of the air because you're still covered by the by the front windshield, and that's this is going to be your wind deflector for the rear. And so it's going to go right in between the two seats there. Okay. So yeah, if you like, have a seat really fast. We're going to go over a few things. So it will still actually turn over, that way it's somewhat on uh, ACC mode. So now this vehicle does come with a 7 inch IntelliLink uh, touch screen. It's going to have your navigation feature. Um, your navigation, which is uh, pretty cool, is going to be, uh, you can use your voice command to use it, you can put in an address. Uh, it does come with AM, FM, and XM. Your XM, you're going to get um, free for three months. We uh, basically what you'll do is uh, you, we'll call XM for you, get your free trial going. Um, you're also going to have if you press the home button there for me. So everything's pretty simple. It's a touch screen, but you also have all of your buttons down underneath. Should you need anything else, um, you'll see it does come equipped with the phone, which is your Bluetooth. Um, Bluetooth, of course, is now uh, is not necessarily Bluetooth, but not talking on your phone is law nowadays. So with that, um, you have your Bluetooth ready for you. Um, you can we'll set it up for you here on delivery. Um, with the Bluetooth, you can dial the number out if you know it by heart. It uh, put your contacts on there, but doesn't save them on there. So every time you get out, the contacts will uh, be gone. Um, and it's just by the touch of a button here. Um, that voice command button is also going to be used uh, as pretty much everything. You can use it for navigation, phone commands, um, and to change the radio station pretty easily. Um, you can click it and you would say... Please say a command. 100.3 FM. I found multiple results. 
for call one one three. Please say one. Well, I found out it's the BMW, I have trouble with that because I'm outside. Because you're right, exactly. Yeah. It's got the microphone here for you, so it's, it's got the microphone here for you, underneath here, so Please that way command. it'd be a lot easier for you. To 96.1 FM. Hey, you're familiar. I found multiple results. Yes. For Donna, yes. goodbye. But at least it gives you a list. Oh, it's because we have no signal, maybe. Right, oh, exactly. Right, so. Uh, so, we're under the metal roof here, so it's not the uh, yeah. best. Um, this vehicle is also going to come with what's called lane departure warning. It's going to be a safety feature for you. Uh, should you go over any one of the uh, solid yellow or solid white lines, it's going to notify you. Um, it'll beep. Uh, with, of course, that's without putting your blinker on. Now, here on the blinker system, um, you're going to see, excuse me, on the um, wipers, you're going to see an off and on button. That's going to be for your rain sensing wipers. Okay. Um, should it sense any moisture or rain hitting it, it, they'll turn on automatically. It's just one of those things that uh, convenience for you. That way you don't even have to think about putting them on. They'll already be on for you. Um, the top is going to be that chrome button there. You'll pull it back for it to go um, for it to go back and you'll put it down for it to come back up. Um, that middle button there is going to be for your windows. If you want, you can press it down and it's going to drop all four of the windows for you automatically. A really sweet, kind of a convenience feature. Your parking brake is going to be there. That's going to be for an electronic parking brake. You can hear it come on. It'll let you know that it's, um, it's engaged or disengaged right in there. Um, I know you looked back here when you heard a noise. That This is going to be your seat, uh, seat belt presenter. That's going to actually come up right. That way you don't have to keep reaching back. I drive a coupe myself and I don't have this and it's it's kind of a burden. Um, this vehicle is also going to come with OnStar. OnStar is going to be, uh, you're going to get it free for six months. Um, what you're going to get free for six months is your uh, directions and connections, your vehicle diagnostics, uh, and your uh, automatic crash response. So your direction of connections is going to be pretty much your navigation. You can press that blue button and say, they'll come on and you'll say, take me to the closest movie theater. And they'll probably, uh, they'll send it to your navigation there to probably Live Oak down here. Um, your automatic crash response is going to be, um, should you get into an accident or need something right away, uh, they're going to come over, they'll ask you if you're all right. If you're non-responsive, they'll send someone out to you. Um, if you if you're fine, you can tell them no, I'm fine. You know, can you uh, you know contact the uh, police or something like that? Um, Talking about uh, crashing, I, I know you you mentioned the airbags. Yes, so it's got six airbags. You're gonna have, uh, and they're all they're all labeled. So actually, when you look right here, it's gonna have one here, one there. It's gonna have, of course, one in the steering wheel, one in uh, the uh, console there for the passenger. And then it's also going to have one down underneath uh, for your knees. Uh, a lot of people don't think about that nowadays, but the legs are a big part of it. Um, you know, you're getting into a forward collision, where do your legs go? Now, in an event for an airbag, for a crash, your phone is probably somewhere in the vehicle. Your phone will be gone. That's one of the things that I was talking about with the uh, automatic crash response. You don't have to foam around looking for your phone. They're already going to come on there for you. Um, you also get, for five years, you get what's called the Remote Link app. Now, the app is going to be pretty sweet. The app is actually going to um, come with the, uh, a key fob, which is basically that, but, in a, um, but of course on your phone. It's also going to come uh, here. Actually, you know what? I got it right here. I just uh, put my, my manager just purchased a Denali uh, yesterday, and I put his OnStar on there for him. And I still, I'm still logged into it just in case I want to mess with it. Okay. <laughs> um, so you'll see your vehicle diagnostics. You can click on that there. It shows that he's low range, has no okay. gas whatsoever. Okay. Uh, oil life, 87%. Even gives you your tire pressure on the readout. Um, you're going to see your map here. You can actually put a address in there and send it to your vehicle if you were going on a trip. Um, you're going to see the 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot. Now that's also a service that you get uh, free with OnStar, just for purchasing the vehicle.
bytes or three months, whichever one comes first. Now when I say it's a hotspot, it'll connect up to seven devices, tablets, um, phones, computers, anything you can think of. And it's even going to be where you don't have service on your phone. So like say if you were at the beach and you don't have service at your phone, you can still connect your devices to it. Um, and of course it's going to have your uh, preferred dealer. Now the preferred dealer that we normally pick is us because of course we want you to come back to our service department here. Um, we want to take care of you completely. This is not just the first car I want to sell you. This is going to be one of the, one of the first cars I sell you. Um, and that way you get the full aspect of how we do business here. So would you guys call me like you need an oil change? Once you need an, yes, once we see that you need an oil change or something's going up, uh, something's going, uh, you know, if your fluids are low or something like that, your tire pressure, we can give you a call and uh, that way we can say, hey, did you want to schedule something? When can you come in? Um, exactly. Now, the key fob here is what's really cool. Like I said, you get this for five years. You're going to have your lock, unlock, your remote start, cancel start, warning light, stop warning light. So, let's see something here. Whoops. You have to log in. So it won't keep log. It has an option for keep me log, but you're also going to put in a four digit password that you know. Um, luckily for me, I set up my manager's four digit password, so like I said, I can always mess with him at my leisure until he catches on. So I'm logging in right now. You see, you're going to use your email address and a password of your choice. And what we would do, we would log in. Log in real quick. Unless he changed the password. He may have caught on already. I'm not sure. There we go. Well, what would you do is press the four digit pin here, it would go off and um, basically, like I did have the horn and lights here. So, I mean, it would go off, you, his horn and lights would be blinking. You know, that is also a safety feature. Um, you know, say if you're inside your house, you see something around your vehicle, but you don't know what it is, you can turn on the horn and lights and pretty much scare whatever it is around it. You can also, uh, like I said, remote start it. The key fob is only going to work a certain distance, about 50 feet. Your phone is going to work anywhere you have service. So as long as you know the port is your phone, of course. So um, what you can do, what I always say is say you're in the grocery store, it's Texas, it's hot, uh, you're, you know, you're in the grocery store, you're at the checkout line, you put in your four digit pin, start it up already, it's already started, the AC is running by the time you, exactly, by the time you get to your vehicle. So you don't have to worry about any cool down time or anything like that. Same thing with the heated. So that way you don't have to run outside anymore and start your vehicle and then run back in and start getting ready and have your vehicle already warm and stuff like that. You don't have to worry about that anymore. All right. you like, uh, grab it. So if you want, what we'll do now, we'll go on a test drive and if everything works out, you want to take this vehicle today? Yep. Do it for Coco. For sure. All right. Why? Oh yeah, Marley can ride too. <laughs> Good job.